Hi, it's Cayman Reynolds, and let's talk oxalic acid vapor. Before that, let's address the elephant in the room, which is Alabama. Born and raised that way. Good luck to everybody who has a college football team, because if you face Alabama, you're going to need it. But let's get to beekeeping, and you can leave those Roll Tide comments below. So, what we have over here is an inverter and our oxalic acid vaporizer, which is the ProVap 110, our respirator, which is good for the oxalic acid uh, as it turns into a vapor. This is um, organ an organic filter, so it'll handle it. I've got links for all this stuff below if you want to check those out and see where you can get them. And of course, we've got our cap right here. And this setup right here, we really don't need in this location but we just really wanted to show it to you because a lot of people ask us the question how am I going to set this stuff up outside of where I have access to an outlet because of course just like most power tools this has just a regular three prong plug but if you can't reach it to your house or your shed or whatever then you can use a car battery this is a big truck battery right here some people use lawnmower batteries and we just have it hooked up like this it'll vaporize a lot of colonies um, with uh, even a small battery so I've never tested how long that'll go but from what I understand I can treat a lot of colonies probably this whole bee yard off of that battery being charged now this right here is just an inverter if you don't know what that is we've got over on this side we have we have plugged it in we got, runs all the way over to the, the battery and it just inverts it converts it, yeah, inverter, over into that. So it's, it's pretty simple, but when we are out in our other bee yards where we don't have access to electricity, then we have to use something like this. Now, of course, we don't have to have the, the battery loose like this. Most of the time, we just hook it up to our truck or something like that, and so you're good. So basically, I just want to show you real quick as well a couple things about oxalic acid vapor. So this is the crystals right here. They're a lot smaller than table sugar, but they're still really big. Now to a bee, these are huge, and to a mite, they're way too big. But when we cook them in our oxalic acid vapor machine over here... Alright, let me before I get to this point, let me explain. So this is a half teaspoon. This is one gram. So I think I've said it incorrectly maybe in another video, but a half teaspoon is one gram. And they recommend pretty much everybody that you use one gram per deep box and if you're using eight frame equipment it's the same thing that's a nice thing about oxalic acid vapor you have a lot of wiggle room and so i personally because my equipment's not the most airtight i usually up the dosage by 50 percent now i don't recommend you do this but i do that because i know that a lot of my vapor is going to get out of the colony so if I was going to do a single box and they were healthy, then I would do a scoop and a half of this stuff. And you got your caps right here. You just drop it down in there. And so if you have a double deep colony, now it's best if you have gloves for this. So for a big colony, like a double deep, I'm going to do three scoops. Even if they just have two boxes, because I know I'm going to lose some. So that right there would be your treatment. You want to wear this. You get a lung full of this stuff and you're really going to be hacking and coughing. It's really rough on your lungs. That's one of the downsides to this. So watch out for that. Um, also wear eye protection when you're using this in the colonies because it, what I like to do is drill a hole in the bottom boards. I don't have any over here because most of this equipment is either wasn't mine or is new. But we drill a quarter inch hole for the ProVap 110 and you can just slide the sucker right in and go to town. And basically, I'm going to show you real quick. Let me get rid of a little, get rid of a little bit of this oxalic acid vapor because we don't need all that. You're just going to go like that. You'll want gloves. Now, if the biggest danger with this, it's not good on your lungs, but if you flip this thing around and the oxalic acid hits the hot pan below, it's going to jet out because as it turns into a vapor form, it expands. And that's what makes this tool so awesome is the fact that it just pushes it out so quickly. The problem is if that's blocked up, then that pressure is going out the top. And if your face is close to it or any other parts of your body, 
and that oxalic acid gets onto you as it's cooking, it's going to feel really good. So wear some eye protection. Um, this is not blocked up. I just tested it out. Still, it's good always to use a set of glasses. And there you have it right there. So that was less than a gram. And basically, we have just turned that crystal into micro crystals. That, as it condenses, will go all throughout the hive and condense on the bees, the woodenware, everything that it touches, and cut up those mites. Thankfully, it doesn't hurt your bees. So, anyways, if you have any comments or questions on how this setup works, it's pretty simple. Again, I like to use a little bit extra because if I'm going to take the time to go through my colonies and actually use this, then I want to make sure that I get those mites really good. Uh, this product is real gentle, and yeah, it is a little irritating to the bees, but it's nothing compared to having a flora mite eating on the bees themselves. So, when in doubt, nuke them out. We've got um, all kinds of stuff below. If you're looking for any of these materials, you can look at the options out there. And if you have any comments or questions on these products, then definitely leave them below. And uh, roll tide, by the way. Thanks for watching.